Okay. Now I want to talk about uh, elasticity. This is demand, elasticity of price, or supply, uh, price elasticity. And what elasticity is, it's a measurement of how much change we have in quantity, either demanded or supplied, when there's a change in price. And the reason why this is important is because companies use this. Companies figure out just how elastic something is. If there is a, if there is a small change in quantity with a large change in price, then a company knows that it can hack up prices and people will continue to buy the good. If there's a small change in quantity with a smaller change in price, or there's a large, sorry, a large change in quantity based on a small change in price, well then companies know if they just move their price a little bit, people are either going to buy a bunch of it if they lower their price, or hardly any of it at all if they increase their price. It tells companies how to price stuff. So this is important because this is how companies figure up how much they're going to charge us for goods. I mean, I look at cost, obviously, but this is uh, a determinant of like price equilibrium. You know, where is the price equilibrium? Oftentimes, we use um, elasticity analysis. So essentially, um, what the um, formula is, is the percent change in quantity over the percent change in price. And how you figure that, as you can see here, um, Q sub two minus Q sub one, all over Q sub or over Q sub two plus Q sub one divided by two. Remember to do your order of operations, do them inside the parentheses first. All over P sub two minus P sub one over P sub one plus P sub two divided by two. So this is giving you the percent change in Q, this is giving you a percent change in P, and you divide the two. Alright? And then it comes out that if it um, if it's greater than one. Right? It equals elastic. Elastic is greater than one. If it's less than one, then it's called inelastic. An inelastic demand or an elastic price demand elasticity. If it equals one, that means it is what's called unit elastic. So I've got three examples up here that we're going to do. And what you can do at home or wherever you are is I'll look up here and you can either, we'll, we'll do this one, you can do it at home or you can watch me do it and every one, if you want to try to do it on your own, pause your YouTube clip and then see if you got the right answer. I don't have a calculator on me so I'll set the problem up and I'll simplify it and then you can just figure it up at home with a calculator and if it's more, if the answer is more than one, then it is elastic, if it's less than one, sorry, if it's less, or if it's more than one elastic, if it's less than one elastic and if the answer happens to equal one, then it's unit elastic, which means there is an exact percent change in an exact percent change in price will lead to an exact percent change in demand. Okay. Also, use the larger number with all the larger numbers for Q sub two. The book might just have like Q and Q sub one, but anyway, if you use the smaller numbers, you'll get the same answers. If you you know, have a smaller number for Q sub two, you'll just get negatives. So to avoid getting negatives, always use the larger number for Q sub two and P sub two because it will get rid of your negatives. Okay. Um, so let's do this one. So point A, there's a price of twenty and a quantity of twenty. We're at point B, there's a price of fifteen and a quantity of forty. So going down in price from twenty to fifteen, you listed an increase in twenty units, right? It doubled. So looking at this, you can tell it's going to be elastic in that um, a, chain, a percent change um, here isn't that big compared to this. Let's do it mathematically to figure out just how big. All right, so let's look at our formula and we do our Q's first. So quantity is always in the, on the top of the uh, numerator, all right? So it's 40 minus 20 over 40 plus 20 divided by 2 all over the price now, which is... 20 minus 15 over 20 plus 15 divided by 2. All right, that's going to give us 20 over 30, and that will give us 5 over. Uh, this is uh, 35 divided by 2, 17.5. All right, uh, it's 35. 35 divided by 2, 17.5, and this will end up being you know 0.66 divided by. Um, five into seventeen point five 
is probably about 0.28 or somewhere in there. I don't know exactly. You have a calculator, you figure it out. But clearly, 0.66 over this is going to be um, it's going to be over one, so we can tell this is elastic. In fact, it's going to be over two. So it's going to be elastic because this number here is greater than one. So the change here, a small change in price gave us a huge change in quantity demanded. And so this is going to tell a retailer, ooh, maybe we should lower our price because we'll get a huge amount, right? So it's important for producers. It's an important thing to know. All right, let's do this one here. Um, we see a change in price from 25, point A, 25 price at 10 goods. Uh, point B is 15 as a price and 30 as the um, goods sold. So you can set the equation up. You can pause it at home. We'll do it together. This would be the quantity of the numerator, right? 30 minus 10 all over 30 plus 10 divided by 2 all over 25 minus 15 over 25 plus 15 divided by 2. All right, that equals, this is 20 over, this is going to be uh, for, this is going to be 20 over 20 all over um, all over 10 over this is 40 divided by 2, 20. So this is going to be 1 over 0.5, and this will equal 2. So 2 is more than 1, so this is elastic. Okay, did you get that at home? Okay, so then we'll do this one. Because you can do the same thing with supply. The analysis works the exact same thing with supply. So let's do this one with supply. You can see here at point A, it's... Uh, 20 units and there's, or sorry, $20 and it's 30 units. Point B, it, the price increases to $30 and they're willing to supply 40, okay? So supply elasticity, let's see what's going to happen. So we do quantity first, so it would be 40 minus 30 over 40 plus 30 divided by 2 all over price on the denominator, right? Um, Use the large number first, 30 minus 20 over 30 plus 20 divided by 2. This is 10 over 35 all over 10 over, that's 25, right? So it looks like this is going to be, this is 0.4 here, and then this is less than 0.4, and probably some in the neighborhood of, See, 10 over 30. This is probably neighborhood like 2.27 or something, whatever it is. Either way, it's going to end up being less than 1. So the supply elasticity for this is inelastic. So this is an inelastic um, supply elasticity. So it's important to know this equation. What's elastic, what's inelastic, and why, why we use it. It's used so businesses know exactly what to charge and how much to supply with price. Uh, we usually look at demand elasticity more. Here's the overarching principle. Um, so we're measuring how much will there be a change in quantity based on whatever price is going to change. Okay? So that should be that. And if you have any questions, uh, don't be scared to call a text.